shaders for Minecraft 1.19.2. It was just released, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download shaders, install shaders, and use shaders, including change your shaders settings in Minecraft 1.19.2. Dot two. First things first, you're going to need to download some shader packs. Shader packs are basically like texture packs, but for adding shading and lighting to Minecraft. Luckily, the second link in the description down below will take you here. And this is our list of the best shader packs for Minecraft. It's an exhaustive list. It goes over all these different shader packs. You can see screenshots of them, all of that stuff. It's a very in-depth article, as I said. But for this specific video, we're going to go ahead and download BSL shaders, one of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead and right click and open these download buttons in a new tab. We're also going to grab Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders. And then we're going to scroll down here and grab the Vanilla Plus Shaders Pack and the Yo FPS Shaders. Thing about Yo FPS, by the way, basically doesn't add much of any shading, but it allows you, even on bad, horrible PCs, to get shaders. So if you have a low end PC and you want shaders, try Yo FPS Shaders. It's very customizable. We'll check it out a little later. Nevertheless, when you download these, it will take you to a download page that's a bit different for all of them. However, for BSL shaders, when you're here, click BSL Shaders, and then click on Download and then scroll down and click the download button here. It'll then take us off where the download will begin, and while BSL Shaders is downloading, how about us from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and at Apex, should you have any issues with their server, they have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support that you can reach out to at any time to get assistance. Lastly, they have over 200 mod packs with one-click installation, and if you want to add plugins to your server, or add mods to your server, you can do so super easy as well. So let's check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. BSL Shaders is downloaded. You may need to keep or save your shaders packs when you download them. It just depends on your browser. Keep them all left of Google Chrome or save them in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. You also may not have to do that. You may just download them. That's perfectly fine as well. For Makeup Ultra Fast, a lot of shaders packs will be hosted here. This is Curse Forge. And for any of these, come to the right-hand side and scroll down and download the most recent version. In our case, that's the 1.19 version. Some shaders packs aren't updated to Minecraft 1.19. That's actually okay. An example of this is Vanilla Plus Shaders here. If we come here, look at the right-hand side. It's actually 1.18. That is okay because shaders really didn't change between 1.16 and 1.19. So even if this is like Minecraft 1.16, it's still perfectly okay. That's even shown here by these actually being the exact same version from 1.16 to 1.18, and this does work in 1.19 as well. Click the orange download button, wait for the download to begin, and once it does, it will download like the others. Yo FPS shaders, 1.19 on the right-hand side, and click download. Now, there is one more thing we need to download in order to add shaders in addition to our shader packs, and that is Optifine. Optifine find is basically the mod that allows Minecraft to activate and use these shader packs we've downloaded. You can find our link to OptiFind in the description down below. It's the third link down below, and it will take you here. This is our complete guide on how to install OptiFind. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but this guide and article goes way more in depth than we're going to. It also shows you how to troubleshoot some different issues, right? So should you have any issues like, is it possible to use OptiFind Fabric? You want to do that? You can do that. What do you do if you can't open the OptiFind installer? That's covered here as well. So nevertheless, in-depth guide here, but we're going to be going over the basics, and what we go over in this tutorial will work for 99% of people without any issues. Nevertheless, let's go and click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Once we're here, we want to make sure Minecraft 1.19.2 is selected. As you can see, it is Minecraft 1.19.2 is there. If it's not, just click show all versions and scroll down until you find it. But for us, it's right up here at the top. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and come under Minecraft 1.19.2, find the Optifine version, and then click the mirror link here over next to it. The reason we're clicking mirror is because it skips an ad and takes us directly to the 1.19.2 download page for Optifine. Once you're here, click on the bluish purple download button, and once you do that, in the bottom left, Optifine will start downloading in Google Chrome. You may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe either way. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and now let's move all these files, our shader packs, and Optifine to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, might be in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Either way, you wanna click on that little Windows icon, and when you do, it's gonna open up this, where you wanna type download, right like so. There's the downloads file folder. Open that up, and in here we have Optifine, as well as all of our shader packs drag and drop these to our desktop for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, we're actually gonna be starting off with Optifine, but we can see all four of the shaders packs we're installing. By the way, you can install as many shader packs as you want and easily switch between them in game. Nevertheless, to get started, we wanna right click on Optifine, 
click on open with, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java here, or if your icons don't look like mine, they look a little weird there, what we want to do is actually download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Optifine and thus shaders in Minecraft 1.19.2. This is a complete guide linked down below in the description that goes over everything you need to know about getting Java set up and running. You may also need to run the jar fix. The jar fix is going to link all the jar files on your computer back to Java, making them work happily together. However, make sure you install Java 17 before running the jar fix. Nonetheless, we can minimize our browser and it's time to install shaders and specifically Optifine for shaders. To do that, right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Optifine installer here where all we want to do is click on Install. There's three reasons this won't work. One, Minecraft is open. If that's the case, close it. Two, the Minecraft launcher is open. If that's the case, close that as well. Or three, you haven't played Minecraft 1.19.2 before. I know a lot of people don't play Minecraft until they can get shaders. Well, if that's the case, you actually need to go launch Minecraft 1.19.2 to the main menu. Once it's open, close out of it, come back, reopen up the Optifine installer, and then click install. When you do, you'll get this success message saying Optifine is successfully installed. Once you do have that, click OK, and it will close out of the installer. You can actually delete Optifine from your desktop. It's time to install our shaders packs. To do that, we just need to open up Minecraft with Optifine. So open up the Minecraft launcher here, and before you hit play, make sure that Optifine is selected. As you can see for us, it is selected right there, and it says 1.19.2 Optifine under it. If you don't have that, click on the arrow and select it from this list. If Optifine isn't in this list, or it doesn't say 1.19.2 under it, what you need to do is go into installations. Then up here at the top, make sure modded is selected. You can see we deselect modded, Optifine disappears, we select modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine under the version of Optifine here, click on New Installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Shaders 1.19.2. And then under the version drop down, this is the important part, make sure you select Release 1.19.2 Optifine. So make sure this right here is selected. The number at the end may be different, but the Release 1.19.2 Optifine should be the same. Then you want to change your resolution. You don't have to, but I'm doing that so we can see what we get in game, make it better and better for video. Then click create in the bottom right and now we have this new shaders 1.19.2 profile with 1.19.2 Optifine under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with Optifine installed. Now it's super easy to install shaders from this point. Literally the hardest part of getting shaders is actually getting Optifine. Once you have Optifine, it's super easy to add shaders to Minecraft. So let's go ahead, I'll meet you on the main menu. On the Minecraft main menu, all we need to do to install shaders is click on options, video settings, shaders. Again, that was kind of fast. Let's do it one more time. From the Minecraft main menu, click options, video settings, shaders. Then on this shader screen here, click the shaders folder button in the bottom left. So click that shader folders button and it will open this. Now, all you need to do is drag and drop your shaders from your desktop into the shader packs folder here, right? So boom, drag and drop them. We can already see kind of in Minecraft, there they are. There are all of our shaders packs. To activate one, just click on it. When you click on it, it's going to reload Minecraft li right like so click done. And now if we go in game, this will work, right? We jump in here to Minecraft 1.19.2. This is going to work. We're going to have shaders installed. What's cool though, is we can change shaders options and even shaders packs right from in game. So boom, there we go. Shaders is active. You now know how to get shaders, make it ultra fast specifically. But before you click away, how do you change your shaders options? As you can see in the top left up here, we're getting kind of a bit of lag, right? You might even be seeing some of it in the video. Well, to fix that, you can actually go into options, video settings, and then go into shaders. And then in the bottom right, click shader options. This is where you can change things. For example, I'm lagging on the medium profile. So if we go in here to the low profile, click done, it's going to reload the shader pack in the background. And then when we come back, our FPS has went up a little bit. Not much, but it has went up some. But if we want huge FPS improvement, we can go into options, video settings, shaders again, and switch to yo FPS. This is like I said, that super low end sort of shaders pack where we can actually go in here and change the different effects and waving objects and all that stuff. But it's super low end, but as you can see, waving objects are there, we're waving. There is some shading, some slight shading, but our FPS is really, really good. Over, it's actually dropping a decent amount there, but it should be over 100 FPS, very, very stable. One of the things you can also do to improve performance with shaders is come in here and change, make sure all these are on, specifically smooth FPS and smooth world. You're gonna have a good effect there. However, if you want more Optifine settings, check out the video in the description down below on the best Optifine settings for Minecraft 1.19.2, uh, just to uh, let you know, I am not running those in this video. We can also switch the other shaders packs just to show you they're working. For example, BSL shaders, one of my all-time favorite shaders packs here. We can go ahead and activate that right like so. Boom, there we go. And we're actually getting decent FPS with 
BSL shaders, which kind of surprises me. But nonetheless, that is BSL shaders. And then last but not least, we do have Vanilla Plus shaders. Again, a very basic shaders pack with a lot of different shaders options. As you can see, we have the fancy fast options there. But nevertheless, boom, there we go. This one's installed. Look how slight that waviness is in Vanilla Plus shaders. Looking good. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content every single day of the week. Make tons of content on Minecraft mods, Minecraft servers, all of that stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.